let's welcome back to Life is Strange 2. We just finished chapter 1, now we're up to chapter 2. Now if you guys haven't played uh, chapter 2, there's a little uh, side quest to this, or side story of the adventures of Captain Spirit. It's told me before, to, if I'm going to continue on, if I haven't played that, the storyline has changed. So what I did is reinstalled Captain Spirit's adventures, and... Uh, here it is. Uh, I've got the story from and seeing, well, seeing if it will change the story from the uh, the one I just played of Captain Spirit. So I don't know how much it will be in effect to the main story, but we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, let's get into it. Two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. The hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. <laughs> he showed them how to survive and help them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their papa, where they hope to find peace. Nice. This is completely different from actual number one. Don't know how it will affect the story with Captain uh, Spirit, but we'll see. Ah, it's winter. Still in Oregon. <laughs> Mushroom! Still amazed of this game with the graphics. Try with this one. But that one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. On the previous. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Sometimes he looks so scared of himself. Oh, L2. We need to work this through. <laughs> you could try and lift mushroom. What? Come on. Are you stupid? <laughs> you want to hurt her? No. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Oh, come on. That'd be great. Is this one too big? 
Yeah, it's just way too massive. What about that one? Can you throw this rock in the river? Oh, yeah. Just watch. Splash! I was hoping more, okay. but... Let's show Daniel some more stuff oh, well. to play with before we call it a day. Ah, come on. Let's get closer. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. Come on! No, it's too far. Stop trying to make fun of me. Just one more time. Okay, so he's got a range. I'm so close. <laughs> I can feel it. How about those cans? That should be easy. Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Okay, so... Keep going down the river. Dude, it's what? getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. But, um, okay. What else? Done the cans. Oh, I guess that one. How about... That one. I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. Be one of the force. Bro. Damn. Whoa! Holy shit! I did it. Oh. <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? <laughs> you won't let me, right? Fine. Try it. I'm going easy on him. Ready? What about the dog? I'm gonna be cruel. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey. Nope. That still sounds nasty. <coughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. The consequences of having a certain power. Maybe? Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. <coughs> that cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. 
I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. The hella tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger what? Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Whoa. Uh, oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the first time for you. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Still don't allow it, but you know. Uh, Why not? Sean? The family that lived here. What do you think happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. I just... I miss my friends. And my room. Sometimes. Yeah. Me too. Uh, All right. I don't know if I could gut an animal anyway. Are uh, you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. Again? You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. <laughs> the family who owned that cabin really seem to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? Good doggy. <laughs> Nine bucks? What happened to the... 30 that I had? Okay. You're such a good Finding that house was a miracle. Runaway millennials and part time forest squatters at your Daniel. service. Oh, be so funny when she plays in the snow. How old are these kids today? <laughs> she loves it. Hey, you what know kind of dog were you? Sandy. <laughs> A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom. Careful, little puppy. Don't catch the cold. Wood, okay. Not enough for the winter, but I guess. Daniel's getting something. cold. Yep. Let's get inside and warm him up. We had to use Daniel's what? What did you gift to break in. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> yeah. Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Need to take it to the hospital, Just bro. Cold. You kicked ass today. Get some Level meds. Up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, uh, Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. 
because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <laughs> Shut up. And the final rule? I know. Come on. Um. You can do it. Okay. Um. Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh. I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. That's true. Only as a last result. total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. You didn't know at the time. Shouldn't have let you alone. No. I'd actually not played chapter two. Daniel, you didn't even know. Yeah, that's what I mean. Didn't even know about that, that man. Was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. It's no one's fault. <coughs> man, you need to get him well, man. Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good yeah, puppy. I doubt that. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And let's grow back. Typical nine year old. I'll make ten years dinner. old. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> oh, we better make a fire first. What's his progress? He's definitely a fast learner. First lesson. Maybe too fast. Two weeks. Three. So it's almost been a month. I think. Correct me on that, guys, when I'm in your comments. He's progressing quite fast, actually. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Cigarette pack. Why are you smoking, man? What sadistic scheme do you have in mind today? Build a fire in the wood stove and find Dad's lighter. Medicine. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Ah, oh, okay. That's too risky. Once you get used to squatting, eh, it's not so bad. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Not much. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Where's the ladder? Who's that? Gotta love one hit wonders. Uh, here's paper. What's it say? Of course. He's the town fucking hero now. Stole from the items from the store with Porter all day. Ah, oh, there's a lighter. Time to get warm. 
Hold on. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. That's the wrong schedule. Chemotherapy. Patrick Hill. Uh, that sounds familiar. No excuse not to binge read. 